Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Lavinia, and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne, and acne positivity, and just making you feel good in your own skin every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join the channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my tips and tricks, like literally all of them, all of them in one video on how to get a really, really nice makeup application on top of acne and texture. As you can see, some of my acne and texture is still poking through. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to minimize the look of texture, how to make your makeup look really smooth while still covering up some of your acne and acne scars and just the best techniques I've found that really work for my dry, sensitive, acne prone skin um, to make sure the makeup not only lasts all day but looks as flawless and smooth that it can look on real textured skin. We're gonna be taking my skin from this to this glam look and I'm gonna be going through some of my tips and also comparing to some mistakes that I often see done on acne and textured skin. If you want to see all of my secrets, all my beauty secrets for how to do your makeup on acne and textured skin, just keep on watching. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters in my streets. All right, so let's get started with the makeup look. This is what my skin is looking like right now and i'm really going to give you guys all of the tips today my lips are so dry so let's deal with that first but i've already cleansed the face it's ready to go and that is essential you want to start with a very clean base so that everything can just go on really smoothly next prepping the skin is going to be so incredibly important i am going to be using the peach slices redness relief serum this has 10% azelaic acid, and since I have a lot of scarring right now, it is definitely just going to help take down that redness a bit. And this is a really nice, like, nourishing primer too, so if you have dry skin like me, you want to give your skin nourishment so that the makeup can actually slide on well. Then I'm going to be taking some hyaluronic acid. This one is from Beachy. And I like hyaluronic acid when doing makeup because it kind of acts like a primer. Um, something that will do a similar thing will be polyglutamic acid because it has a little bit of sticky and tackiness to it. So it's really nice under makeup because it will kind of be able to slide on really well. Apply that all over. And then moisturizer, um, I'm gonna be going in with the Peach Slices Redness Relief, also one I really have been enjoying. So you just wanna use something that is really hydrating and nourishing to the skin. I like this, I like using gel moisturizers you guys have seen, or like water-based moisturizers for makeup, but some of them can be like not it, you know, like so just like kind of absorb right away and don't give you any of that nourishment. So I like this one. I also like the Inculus Omega Water Cream. So anything that can kind of give you that like splash of water look. The Tatcha Water Cream is really great too. But that won't, like that will still be able to deeply nourish without being like a thick cream and more of just that water-based product. So let that all sink into the skin there. I'm going to brush through my brows. All right, so the skin prep is not done, of course. We need sunscreen. Today I'm gonna to be using the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. This is a very popular item for a lot of people. I've recently been trying it out. This is actually a clear sunscreen, as we can see. It kind of has like that silicone type feel to it, but it is a fully chemical sunscreen. A lot of people find sensitivities with this, but I have not personally. And what I like about it for a makeup look is because it's kind of that gel type primer feel, it creates like this really smooth canvas for makeup and it kind of acts like a makeup primer and sunscreen all in one. All over, kind of soothe, smooth out the skin do everything it needs to. If you guys are looking to save some money off skin store, you can use my code right here. And that includes so, so many products um, like this super group Unseen Sunscreen. This is an SPF 40, so it's gonna protect the skin nicely. And even though it is winter right now, you still wanna be protecting your skin from the sun. The UV index is lower, but it's still there and it can still be super damaging to the skin. 
This one is a broad spectrum SPF with SPF 40 with PA++++ and it's sweat and water resistant up to 40 minutes. So definitely a great one and it leaves the skin feeling so soft, kind of like you just applied a primer. Like think of like um, Benefit Poreless or something like that. This is what this product feels like. So just went in with my sunscreen. Um, typically I'll go in with like the calorie so blown primer, but as I said, this kind of does that priming all in one. So I don't need to use that. And then you can use like a power grip primer, um, like this one from e.l.f. or like milk cosmetics. I just for presentation sakes right here, I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to apply this where my makeup tends to break, which is like on my nose typically and between the brows that and then on the chin too my makeup loves to just kind of break there so you can definitely use a gripping primer like i said you want that kind of sticky base routine that's why we went in with the hyaluronic acid and stuff like that you want that makeup to stick because something about having acne and acne scars i don't know what it is but i find when i had clear skin makeup would just wear way nicer as opposed to when I have acne, the makeup just like splits so much faster. So using something that can hold that makeup down and almost glue it to your face is definitely gonna help. And I would just target it right where you find that breaking. So like I said, for me, it's typically around my nose, between my brows and on my chin, that makeup loves to just break up. Another priming tip that I have, of course, you don't have to go in with all of these items. I'm showing you guys every single tip in this video because I want you to take away from it what works for your skin type. So one thing that I love to use is a green color correcting primer. This one is from Indeed. It's the um, Nano Blur Green Color Corrector. I love this because it's literally like a moisturizer, but it's green tinted, as you can see. I'm not gonna apply it over the Power Grip Primer because I don't wanna, you know, mix too many things up, but you can apply this all over and it will blend into the skin once you blend it out, but it will just take down redness a bit and it does make a pretty big difference on top of makeup, I find, underneath makeup because it just slightly takes down redness. Nothing too crazy, it won't completely transform your skin. It's not a foundation but it smooths out the pores a little bit and just gives a skin a really nice look I find. So I like to apply that all over and this um, is a primer, a green primer that I really, really enjoy. So using something that's color correcting is a really great option. So now that's kind of the prep phase. My skin feels really plump right now and that's what you want. Your skin should feel like it just drank a bunch of water, which speaking of, I should probably do. Before I go in with too many other products, you can also apply some pimple patches. I really like these ones from Peace Out. They just released them. They're the Sheer Acne Day Dot. These ones are really great. Hero makes some really great clear ones. Um, Rael, some by me. I don't have any active whiteheads right now, so I'm not going to apply any pimple patches, but those are some of my favorites for applying underneath makeup because you want to protect your skin and if you have active breakouts i would just recommend putting on some uh, pimple patches they're not even going to be that that noticeable and the makeup is still going to look really good but then you're protecting that spot from any of the makeup on top so let's get into the skin prepping um uh one mistake i really really see a lot is people going in with a full full coverage foundation this is one of my favorites right here um the niacinamide foundation and I'm just going to apply a little to show you guys it's very full coverage and if I apply this in a thick layer all over the face you can see that would completely cover up my acne very very easily but the issue with that is now all of a sudden I have this thick layer all over the face and yes I do have lots of spots all over but I don't need that much coverage all over and especially if you have less acne or acne scars than me there's literally no point in applying that much coverage all over the face sometimes there's a day and there's a time and a place for it but I think it ends up looking heavy and cakey especially on textured skin so what you want to do is use either a color corrector or concealer it depends on your acne I'll show you both in this video I'm using the Exa Beauty high fidelity color corrector in the green shade I like using a little like eyeshadow brush almost I just pick up a tad of the product on my brush and let's see these pimples right here are a little more red 
see I just go in with the tiniest amount I see people applying way too much color corrector and then they have to apply a thick heavy coat of foundation on top to cover up the green when if you just apply a tad it can do a lot of that redness covering and then you don't need as much foundation on top so I'm not using this on all my spots but just a little bit literally a little bit goes a long way and you don't need to apply a ton of product to see this work anywhere I have more prominent redness and on the ones that don't need as much you saw I just applied a very tiny about be very light-handed with your color corrector because the darker you go in with your color corrector and the more heavy-handed the more you're gonna have to do with covering up with the color corrector with foundation you just want to use enough color corrector to cancel out the redness in your acne and your scars because if you look at a color wheel we want the opposite but if you apply so much color corrector that you have so much green on your face now you're gonna have to go in with more foundation to cover up that green which you could have just went with that foundation right away all over your acne and you would have had that full coverage so that's just kind of redundancy and applying way too much product this way as you can see the redness has gone down a lot i didn't go over all my spots but especially the ones that were more prominent this green color corrector did the job just applying a very light hand of it i'm gonna do a very similar thing with a, another concealer this is the elf 16 hour camel concealer I ran out of my hydrating one, so I'm using the regular one. Hopefully it works out okay, because I do really enjoy the hydrating concealer since I have such dry skin. But we did some really good skin prep today, so it should be okay. I'm taking that concealer on the same little brush. Again, just the slightest bit of product just to cover that redness. Nothing crazy. This is a very similar technique to... um it called like when the ladies on tiktok do like the the micro little painting with makeup on their face it's so cool it's very similar so see there i kind of went in heavy-handed i put a little bit of the product down and then shear it out and blend it around with my finger and this way it just melts into the skin and looks like undetectable almost and don't worry too much about the color perfectly matching we're gonna fix that in a minute. Someone told me on TikTok that this kind of makes my acne look like freckles. I totally agree. I'm not looking for full coverage here. Just enough. If you want, like this spot, see how it's kind of coming through and it's hard, like makeup's not sticking to it. You just wanna take your time with this. Apply, spot conceal, and notice I'm not going over every spot. If I had to do this to every spot oh my gosh i would literally be sitting here for 10 hours i just have too many of them and that's okay so pick and choose you know pick the ones that like kind of scream in your face and you want to cover up but i don't fully cover them up i just kind of let them be in this state where they kind of start to look like freckles so now is when we're going to go in with our coverage the thing i see so many people do is after they've done the spot concealing they'll still go in with the full coverage foundation this is where you want to keep it super light I really love skin tints. You guys know the L'Oreal True Match is one of my favorites, the um, Tinted Serum. I've really been liking this Tinted Hydrator from Wet n Wild. Um, but today I'm gonna use the Ilia Broad uh, Super Serum Skin Tint. This is an SPF 40, so we just got a little more sun protection in there. Um, has niacinamide, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. I've really been enjoying this product. And you can use, I typically like using a brush with this product. I have the shade um, ST5, by the way. And this is a skin tint, but it does actually have a fair bit of coverage. I used just a little bit, because a little bit goes a long way. You can see, it's actually a fair bit of coverage. So I use the brush to kind of shear it out like so. Just kind of get it in the places. And then I'm gonna take a sponge, a wet sponge. This will help shear it out as well. And go ahead all over the face down the neck look how pretty the skin tint looks on the face and blend and blend 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 into the hairline i'm gonna take a little bit of concealer just a tad under the eyes and on the lid 
I'm going to place them right here because I'm going to use it to kind of shape my brows. Take that same sponge and blend it up. Sometimes I just take the skin tint and place that all over the eyelid and everything. Since I do want to go in with eyeshadow later, since I do want to go in with eyeshadow later, so I'm going to use my concealer as my primer in a way. So there's what the skin is looking like. Of course, not everything is perfectly, perfectly color covered. What I'm going to do for those spots that are still peeking through a little, just dab some concealer on them on top if they're being stubborn. I like to focus on the spots that are in the center of my face more. Sometimes I'll hit some of these, but I don't mind this as much, to be completely honest with you. And then I'm going to take my sponge slightly and look at the pressure I'm using. Softest little bounces. Because this will just melt. Sometimes I stretch out my face so that it really just gets in every little nook and cranny. All right, time to set the face. This is another part you want to be pretty careful with. You can do two things, loose or pressed powder. Now, I have very dry skin, as I said, so I really don't set my makeup much at all. What I will do, though, is grab a little brush with a pressed powder. I'll go a little on the lid and a little just under the eye here just to make sure that's like set and it's not like gonna crease right under that eye I'll do the same around my nose on the tip of the nose between my brows and in my smile lines and on my chin like those places that I mentioned get a little breaking like a little breaking with you can do the same thing with a loose powder um, by the way that was MAC studio fix in the shade n5 and then this loose powder right here is maybelline fit me in the shade 15 light so you can do the same with the loose powder if you do get a little more oily than me if you really like to set down your makeup because i know a lot of my girlies out there with acne have oily skin take your sponge with a loose powder this is my number one recommendation i would stay away from putting the press powder all over the face take a sponge you know you can dump some powder you can dump some powder into your cap there lightly take some on the sponge and kind of tap some of the powder off you can even just take some off on the back of your hand because some of them are pigment more pigmented and then I go in and tap this way you're not gonna get like all of it right away it's gonna give your skin like a nice satin finish just going ahead and adding a bit of bronzer this is nothing like new or anything different so just do that regularly what i do really like to do though when it comes to acne is adding a lot of blush i like using a cream blush and that's why i didn't set all over the face and kind of i concentrated it in the middle this is rare beauty believe what i like about adding blush to your looks i find the blush makes your acne all kind of blend and just make your skin like it kind of matches the acne and the color so it just makes everything look a lot more cohesive and it ties in the redness from your scars and your acne into the rest of the makeup look so i just like to take a sponge I fuse that and as you can see I bring it all over the cheek all of a sudden all this cheek acne blends with that blush and it just makes it look like it's kind of part of my my look I go very heavy-handed with blush I go very heavy-handed I almost take it in the eye area all over the cheek area but this is something I really enjoy how it looks and I just think it makes the acne look so much better in makeup looks when you just spread that blush all over and it just blends with your acne so beautifully in my opinion and blush is in right now red cheeks are in so i take this all over up into the temple onto my eyelid just all over all over this greater area you can take a bit on the nose too so you're dealing with some nose acne just take that all over the face and i just use my sponge to blend you can use a little powder blush this is butter blush um, from physicians formula in the shade vintage rose just set it down and make it 
and just make sure that blush lasts all day long. Now the reason I also do so much blush is to bring attention to the cheeks and lift and I don't set this area because see I have this natural glow now where I don't need a highlighter but I will show you guys what I do with highlighter because I know highlighter can be kind of scary with acne since it can bring out texture and sometimes we don't want to emphasize our texture more than it's already there which of course texture is completely normal so don't feel like you need to cover it or hide it and if you want to wear highlighter over your face do it but i like to take a little bit and i'm using an intense highlighter this is nyx gold bar rose gold bar i'm taking a little bit because this one's very glittery and you just want to add a little bit not too much that's why i left that area already kind of glowy on its own since yeah highlight can emphasize texture so i like to still have like a highlighted look and have that glow but without an actual glitter and more just letting the like the dewiness in the foundation kind of tell that story on its own all right so there's the face makeup i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back all right so my makeup is now done Here's the finished look and this is what the skin looks like obviously i have texture i have acne you can still see that through makeup makeup is not photoshop makeup is not a blur filter it's not going to instantly smooth out your skin but there's definitely ways and techniques to you know lessen that emphasis on your texture and acne and better ways to in my opinion do your makeup than just going in with a super full coverage foundation to try to cover everything up and i think there's something really really beautiful about just letting your skin kind of show through and having that acne and texture kind of peek through with a super glam look i honestly feel like it just looks really really beautiful and i encourage you guys to try it and embrace your skin a little bit more but yeah that is the finished look guys i hope you enjoyed i thank you so so much for tuning in if you have any questions or you want more similar videos to this let me know down below in the comments i would love to get your feedback on this video and if you guys are liking this kind of content if you do want to see more content from me though not only do i post on this youtube channel once a week so you definitely want to be subscribed give this video a thumbs up to let me know you enjoyed and also turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video which will be every friday at 9 a.m mst but if you want more and more content you can go follow me on instagram and tiktok at lavinia rasanda i post so much content on there probably a few times a day very very interactive so if you guys want to chat with me get to know me more i would definitely recommend that you follow me on those platforms and if you do want to join the skin positivity community even more you can go join my discord server which is made especially for you guys just so we can all connect so i can get to know you guys and your skin journeys so i'll have the link for the discord channel below i would love to see you in there and just get to chat with you but anyways guys that is all for this video i hope you're having a lovely day or night whenever you're watching and i'll see you in the next one bye oh you tell me stories you tuck me in and the second you leave, I call you right back to check for my suit.